Good day, everyone. I'll be sharing with us today 20 books that are must-haves. Trust me, after running down this list, you will all agree with me that they are must-haves. Book number one, The Practical World Planning and Drill Engineering Manual by Steve Devereaux. This book is a very, very useful book, especially for starters. It's divided into two. The first part of the book you get to see things with regards to well planning and the other part of the book, you get to see things with regards to operations. Again, it's a very, very good primer for a well engineer. Book number two, JJ Aza, Drilling Engineering. JJ Aza is a professor, a professor emeritus. He co-authored this book with Sam Robello. It's a very, very decent book. It spans from well planning all the way to drill string design, directional drilling, talks about hydraulics and casing design. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, it's also a very, very good book. With this book and the first book I presented, you, you have a very, very good arsenal to start up your career. Number three, The Fundamentals of Drilling Engineering. This book was written by Robert Mitchell and Stefan Miska. Now, this book was recommended to me by one of my mentors, Mr. Hope Okwa. And trust me, the book is very, very detailed. It speaks all the way from well engineering down to um, introduction to rotary drilling, down all the way to casing design, hydraulics, everything with regards to well engineering. It's a must have in your arsenal. Book number four, The Petroleum Engineering Handbook, Volume 2. It's an SPE series, it was written by Neil Adams, JJ Aza, Dan Mose, Steve Nass, Roy Long, and Robert Mitchell as the editor in chief. It discusses subjects all the way from well planning, drill string design, directional design, hydraulics, casing design. This book is also very dear to me because the geomechanics part of it is quite is kind of detailed and it also discusses on the balance drilling. So book number five. Advanced Drilling and World Technology. It's also an SPE series as detailed as um, book number four. It also goes from well planning to drill string design, directional drilling, hydraulics, casing design. And one subject in this particular book is heat transfer in wells, a subject that you wouldn't find in a lot of books. It also has very good and thorough design for HP HD wells and deep water wells. Book number six, Petroleum Well Construction, written by Economides Waters and Don Newman. Now, I call this a very complete book because it goes all the way from drill engineering, it introduces drill engineering and completions. It not just discusses all the topics with regards to well design and drilling operations. It also goes further to talk about rock mechanics and moves deep into completions, talking about the completions hardware, the tubing design, and also discusses in detail the inflow performance relationship and the vertical lift performance required for um, tubing strings to flow. Excellent book. Book number seven, Applied Drill Engineering by Adam Bogoin, Chenevert, Milham, and Young. Now, this is an excellent book. I agree it should be called Applied because it goes in depth to discuss most of the well engineering um, part of designing a well. It, it touches directional drilling, hydraulics, casing design, cementing, and all other very important parts of well engineering. Book number eight, Trouble Free Drilling. Um, I must say that this book is not um, a well designed kind of book. It's a book that is centered on operations. Some of the topics discussed were stock pipe issues, practical well site problems, and most especially hole cleaning and well bond stability. Now, this book is a very decent book because I see that John Mitchell is very big on well bond stability. It was in this book I saw a lot of stresses that were discussed. Stresses, um, breakout shear failures, elongated, toric, and um, helical failures. This book, as little as, as little as it is, is packed. Book number nine, Modern Well Design by Bert Adnoy. He starts off explaining drilling and um, how a well should be designed, 
delves into job mechanics, talks about casing design, drilling operations and problems, casing design, drill string design, hydraulics, all the facets with regards to um, well engineering and planning that should that one should cover in getting a well ready for delivery. Book number 10, Drilling Equipment and Operations by William Leons. A very good book, but I noticed in this book that he centered the book on basically um, equipment, speaking about directional drilling and tools, fishing, oper and fishing operations and the respective tools, drill string design, paying very good attention with pipes, types of pipes and their grades used for the drill string. He also went deep to talk about casing and tubing design. Book number 11, Well Cementing by Eric Nelson and Dominic Guglio. I can tell you for a fact that this is the best book you can find in cementing. It goes all the way from design, talks about primary cementing, remedial cementing, cement evaluation, and all the tests you should be able to perform in the lab, reference API um, requirements. It also addresses unlaw formation, fluid migration, speaking how you can determine all that um, using the gas flow potential, um, pressure, decay limit parameter, slurry performance number, all the data that you need to use to calculate and determine if you're going to be having annular flow after your well has been cemented in place. Book number 12, So You Want to Be a Mod Engineer, Andy Phillips. I like how this book was written. Very simplistic, went straight to the point. How is mod design? What do you need mod for? Ad letting us know that the mod is the blood of the well and how you should perform these checks, how you are to check, um, determine the rheology, how you address specific issues that are related to mod, um, issues like um, large mod cake, loss circulation, etc, etc. He also talks about solid control, how you, the, the, how you handle solid, solid control on the rig and base, enables you to have also basic understanding of the rig mod system. Book number 13, Composition and Selection of Drilling and Completion Fluids by Kain, Dali, and Gray. I'll say this is just an advanced book on um, drilling and completion fluid. I'll say the highlight for me here is how detailed it went to discuss completion fluid, talking about how you ensure that you have the right fluid in the well bore and how you ensure that it's clean and tested so that you don't have completion fluid reacting with the well bore. Good book to have. Book number 14, Casing Design Theory and Practice, SS Rash Raman and GV Chilingarian. Um, even though casing design is being discussed in most of the books that we spoke about, this particular book goes ahead to delve deeper into the fundamentals of casing design, speaking about um, special applications on high, and highly deviated wells, horizontal wells, and salt zones, specific things you should do to ensure that you have the casing set in these areas and that the, this ca these casings do not fail. Book number 15, Casing and Liners for Drilling and Completions by Ted Byron. Just, um, I, I'll tell you, they also did a very good, um, Ted Byron also did a very decent job um, in this book. It's very similar to um, book number 14, but some of the good things that he did in, in, in this book is he went ahead to define some of the design loads. So I think that's one of the, the big things I, that I, I observed while reading this book. He also went ahead to, um, in detail, describe how the casing depth, casing depth selection and um, casing size determination. Book number 16, Petroleum Rock Mechanics by Adnoy and Riza Louis. Um, I'm sure by now you've heard the name Brad Adnoy repeat over and over again. I hold the book so dear. It, it, it looks at drilling operations and relates drilling operations to well bore stability or rather to geomechanics. And I'll say the, the, take, the, 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 positive, the positive thing for me in this book is how it went to define and describe all the failure criteria Hawks and Brown, um, more columns, all the rest of it, and where you will be using most of this failure criterion. Book number 17, 
Manage Pressure Drilling by Wilson Chin. This book is, um, what attracted me to this book when I went to search was how detailed hydraulics in this book was, um, was described. Of course, we know um, the issue with regards to managed pressure drilling, having the narrow moderate window. So um, your annular pressure losses is a big deal. You want to be able to know what your you want to be very you want to be you almost want to have a you want to almost want to have spot on values on your ECB. So you need to be sure the kind of annular pressure losses you are generating. So he, he went ahead to describe in detail all the all the hydraulic models and how they can be used to make most of these predictions. It was a useful book for me because not only did it, did it address um, hydraulics with regards to drilling fluids, you also looked at that for cement slurries. Book number 18, Well Logging in Non-Technical Language um, by David Johnson and Kate Powell. I kind of don't agree with the name of, with the title of this book. In as much as it says non-technical, ladies and gentlemen, it is as technical as technical because it is um, for drilling engineers like us. It goes ahead to give us all the required um, detail and information that we need, all that we need to know as per well logging. Talks about all the well types of logs and how we can interpret them. Talks about mod logging and even completion and case hole logs. So, what other information do you need? Again, it's as technical as as it, as, as it should be. Book number 19, Datums and Map Projection, Jonathan Elif and Roger Lotti. Um, we should all, I, I believe we agree that every drill engineer should know his maps. So this book does a very good job about describing these maps and how we use them. It differentiates between the global Cartesian geodetic map and the projected coordinate maps. With this book, you can never mix them up again. Finally, I'll call book number 20. There are actually two books in one. One is by Sam Robello and the second one by Jim Spike. There are actually two books with the same title but by different authors. And guys, these books did justice to all the formulas we need as drill engineers and look for any information that we need, make reference and crunch the numbers that we need to check anything that we need to check in the, in the event that we don't want to go through these very big books. So, and finally, the book is not numbered, but it's a book I hold very dear to my heart, the Drilling Data Handbook. It's something every drill engineer should have in his bag every time because this is where you find, you, you, can, you find all the information you need, reference, all the IDs of, of any tubular that you want, check bits in the event that you, um, you've forgotten how to grade. There's no information with regards to drill engineering that you will not almost find in the drilling data handbook. So having said that, thank you very much, um, everyone. I'm glad we listened to this to the, to the end and um, we'll keep you abreast with other videos on how we continue to enhance ourselves and become better drill engineers. Once again, thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.